How's it going, everyone? Mark Zimmerman here with Action Esports, sitting by with Zig, third place MVP of the series. How's it feel? Actually, it feels great. Um, I didn't know who got it until afterwards, so I already had the like feelings of euphoria and like heart trembling, shaking type stuff before then. But yeah, it's just cherry on top type thing that I got MVP for the series. And kind of looking back a lot further over the course of your career, you were someone who's been grinding for like a really long time uh, just in the esports scene in general, like way back in season two, you were playing competitive, went back to school, com and then competed in collegiate as well as challenger and like all this stuff. So what does it feel like to finally like get onto like a really big stage and not only just like play there, but perform really well? It's it's just surreal, actually. Like, I definitely feel like I paid my dues. Uh, like I played through challenger for a couple splits, failed some qualifiers. And finally, this is like the first split where I just have like an insanely talented team and like support staff around me and I think this split is in particular just coach fly really unlocked me like um I felt like I this is yeah this is the biggest like period of growth for me thus far in my career and I'm playing for a long time too so I think it's saying a lot that just yeah just coach fly has really been the catalyst for my popping off lately I think it's nice to hear that. And then kind of talking about this series a little bit, you were mentioning right before the interview that you guys were all really nervous after you had gone down 2-1. What was what was the emotional like experience over the course of the series? Yeah, it's just, I mean, game one, I definitely felt like it was too easy, our win. Like, we just took it really slow, and I was expecting a lot more out of them. And then they brought it back in game two and three. And after losing those two games, there was, like, a lot of tension in our locker room, in our back room. And we were just, I was feeling, like, super mortal, I guess, at that point, like, yeah. really thinking about, just we could lose this we could go down and this we could just go home right now and yeah i mean if we lost that last game i probably would have been mad for like a full week just like really reliving the games and thinking about it like we could have won we could have won like and so it's just it's great to end on a win for sure yeah and definitely talking about that game five victory you got picked your signature champion the cled the king of cled all that stuff everyone's going crazy and then you start getting targeted pretty heavily by moon who went up there a couple of times and then when you finally turned that 1v2 what were you like popping off in comms what was that like I think I got pretty lucky there, actually. But, yeah, just in, in general, in scrims and stuff, um, I've been facing a lot of those situations, like, where, like, my jungler's playing on the opposite side, but I'm, like, trying to play medium aggressive, like, trying to pull their jungler. And so I had a lot of practice in situations like that. And I've actually, that's happened a lot in scrims as well, like, that type of play. So I was just, I was pretty excited for sure. I think I've tried to pull a Dyrus in my in comms after. I'm like, get the fuck out of my lane. You know, I <laughs> yeah, said yeah, that, yeah. too. And I'm, I was just... I definitely felt hyphy, hyphy like, because I, I was behind um, from from our level one invade. Like, I missed, like, a wave, in, or half a wave, and then Gragas had to push on me, so I couldn't really trade back, like, early levels. And then I also just greeted and stayed under tower. I think I died before they, they ganked me, and then, yeah, that just put me, like, way back in the game and way ahead of the enemy top laner, so it really, it really helped. Yeah, and then kind of talking about now that your season's over, it's been a long season, there have been some, like, ups and downs with the roster changes and all that, but you said you had a great coaching staff behind you. Uh, what are you planning to do with the off season? You're looking to train a lot, take it a little easy. What are you going to do? Uh, so we actually have two weeks off and then we're back to scrimming. So uh, I have some family in Vancouver. I'm probably going to see them, hang out with some friends. And then, yeah, I mean, next season is even more important than this one. So I think we're going to come back stronger. And yeah, I, th I think it's just mostly relaxing, though. I'm not going to try to play too much solo queue, even though I think we're two patches behind or something, so I have to. But... Yeah, I definitely want to, it was just a big load off, I think, just finishing the season and ending strong. So I think I'll just do as much as I can to like recover and come back next season strong. You hear that, ladies? Series MVP Zig will be roaming the streets of Vancouver, see if you can bump into him. You have anything you want to say to your fans before we uh, close this out? Oh uh, Yeah, just thanks for all the support. Um, the crowd here was actually insane. I remember being in Toronto and just imagining that I could play there uh, like in future and then it just it, it ended up happening next split for me so I'm just really grateful and really happy that everything worked out the way it did and really proud of my team and yeah cheer for us next season too thanks alright thank you very much for the interview Zig uh, enjoy the off season if you guys want more coverage of the event here in Vancouver check out actionesports.com